Hey YouTube, what's going on? Uh, I just want to say thank you for all my support on my last video and I'm going to give you guys a few tips and tricks of how to use uh, display scaling when playing Fortnite. Make sure you're using display scaling and how to lower input delay when you're using a stretch resolution on Fortnite because it's a little tricky compared to other games just because of how the uh, game file works. Okay, so the first step that you're going to want to do is right click on your Windows icon and go to device manager. If that's not there, you can just type in the search bar device manager. <clears throat> and then you're going to want to click on the monitors. I already uninstalled the, the monitor software that I had downloaded from the internet. But you just right click on it, hit uninstall device, and then uninstall. If it says that you have like your software already there, do you want to delete the software that's there? Say yes, otherwise when you restart your computer, it'll be there again. So after you do this step, restart your PC, so that way this takes effect because anything that you've done before to mess with monitor resolution or anything, um, you're gonna, it's gonna mess it up when you use the other software. So you wanna delete this. So the next step is go to the internet, type in custom resolution utility, Custom Resolution Utility, this first link of the forum it's from Toasty X, the one that made it. You can download this zip file right here. So I already have it downloaded to my desktop, so I just pulled it to my desktop from there. So you're going to want to open up the zip file, the CRU.exe, and run it as an administrator. Okay, so now this is where it gets tricky and there's a few different parts and don't start doing any of these until I get through and make the resolution because if you get a black screen, you might have done something wrong where it's hard to get it back. So if you do it this way, like you'll be able to get it back every single time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our resolution here. So the resolution that I've found to be the best, I've tried a bunch of them, is 1747 by 1080. I've tried lowering this to like the the 1735 by 1070. I've tried 1741 by 1076. Every time I mess with this, the 1080 in the back, I, I realize that sometimes you place a build and it won't show up right away. Even if you're holding down, um, say wall, it won't pop up right away in Fortnite. I don't know if that's just because we're messing with that part of the resolution, the vertical, but for whatever reason on my display, at least it's not working as, as cleanly as when I have it on full 1080. <clears throat> and there's a reason behind this, uh, 1747, which I will show in a second. So the next step here is you either have to do LCD reduced or LCD native. So LCD reduced will reduce the colors that are on your screen. This way will work for 99% of monitors. Um, it does work for mine, but the way that you want to keep the same colors you have now is to try using LCD native with 1747. And then when you change your refresh rate, so I have a 240 Hertz monitor, you type in 240 and you get this 240.03. It's actually going to show up as 241 on your monitor. And you do not want that. You want to make sure you stay under 240. So I'm going to type in 999, still over 998, boom. So now we're at 239.998. 1747 by 1080, LCD native. Click OK. OK. So now when you're here, there's different ways to get it to work with Fortnite, and it's different for everyone's monitor. So I'm going to show the different ways to get it to work. So you always want to have this resolution up top but not when you first do it because you want to be able to test it to make sure it works for your monitor and you don't want to go to a black screen so this will help you not get a black screen if you keep it at this so keep it below for the first time so some people will have to go into this extension blocks and hit edit and delete all of these resolutions i did not have to do that luckily but some people will it doesn't really affect anything unless you play on those other resolutions but you can always add it back through the nvidia control panel um, but for now, this is all I have to do and I click okay. So now you hit restart 64.exe 
click yes after you click restart 64 exe i cut out a little bit there because it restarts your graphics driver which crashes obs so that's why it cuts out um while i'm recording but now so i'm still in 1080p 10 1920 by 1080 um here on my monitor which makes it so you can't go to a black screen if you do it the other way and you put it up top first and you get a black screen you just have to hit the function key and hit f8 and it will restart the cru program to whatever you had before that so it won't give you a black screen but the way i found it easiest to avoid black screens is by doing it this way then you go to advanced display settings when you're in so you go to do that again settings system display scroll down advanced display settings display adapter properties list all modes then find the one that you made so i have three because i didn't delete that um those three detailed resolutions at the bottom it gives you all three of these here but i want to click on this one for the 240 click ok and then hit apply and after you hit apply don't press anything let it run so it goes to a black screen and now it works but see if you get a black screen you're here reverting to previous display in 10 seconds if you don't click anything it will revert back i will let it revert back here so we can see that it works back to a black screen and now it's working again back to 1920 by 1080. so that's the easiest way to make sure you um, don't get a black screen while you're doing this and if this doesn't work you probably don't have display scaling on your monitor so you'll have to use the gpu scaling which i showed in the last video so we're going to click on the resolution we want keep changes and this is how you tell you're on display scaling right here when it says your active signal resolution is the same as your desktop resolution that shows that your gpu is not doing any scaling to it and it is your uh, display that is scaling the resolution to 1747 by 1080. So now we have that done. We're gonna go to our NVIDIA control panel again. So right click on the screen. We can close out of the CRU. And now we wanna go, this is the most important part. You wanna go to no scaling here. This is how you tell if it's working for Fortnite. Yes. So display, override, no scaling. Okay, so after you set up no uh, scaling, display, override, you want to go back into CRU. And you need to make this the resolution that you want to um, play Fortnite on on top. This makes it so it is under your recommended, which I will show you in a second here. So it's gonna cut out again because I have to hit restart exe, or restart 64.exe, sorry. Okay, so the trick to get it to work on Fortnite, after you confirm it with CRU, putting it as the top resolution, is to restart your PC completely. So when you restart your PC, it'll um, reset something in the program which allows it to work in fortnite when you have the um display scaling with no scaling on which allows for the least input delay so now when you're here um, i'm going to give a couple tricks to reduce input delay every time you load into fortnite um, so it's one thing that i did that i showed before um, this is the easiest way for me to get there with my uh, samsung magician with my ssd card um, it takes me to performance optimization and I optimize the drive. Optimize. Boom. You can also get to that by typing in optimize and defrag and optimize drives. It takes you to the same screen. So do that every single time you load up your, your PC. Make sure you have nothing running in the background here. You can leave that open for now. I have OBS obviously running. Um, start up timer resolution first. Make sure it's on 0.5. If you get like a 0.496, check out someone's video on how to get this to 0.5. Because you want an even number here. Okay, so now the next step is to go into display settings. And I want to show you that I am still on 1920 by 1080 here. 
but my recommended is 1747 by 1080. You don't even have to click on it. You can keep your display on 1920 by 1080 to make it look better. But now you want to go into percent local app data. Percent. Enter the Fortnite game file. I delete it every single time I go to load into the game. Now we're going to go back into Fortnite. Now I will be getting a little bit more input delay here because I am uh, recording on this PC while um, playing here. But I will show you that the resolution works and how it looks. Um, I'm actually going to have to stop the video and change it over to the resolution once Fortnite loads up so it looks clean. <clears throat> but first I will show you what to do when you load into the game. Hit decline. If you're gonna, if you're a creative player, click on creative. If you're going to play um, battle royale games today, make sure you click battle royale. It gets you better ping in the lobbies. Skip this. Skip. Close. Never show again. Now go up to the three bars on the right. Settings. 240 or whatever FPS you play on. Now this step does not work if you use G-Sync to reduce input delay because you need to run it at 237. But if you're using G-Sync as it is, you already don't want the least input delay because G-Sync adds input delay. Um, you're going to go to Epic here. Keep view distance on Epic. Um, you can also put it on low if you're really struggling for FPS. Shadows off, anti-aliasing off. Textures either on Epic or, or low, it doesn't really matter. More of a preference thing to see which works better for your PC. Motion blur off, G-Sync off, show FPS on. DirectX 11 has the least input delay this season. I have messed with the two of them and 11 is easily the least. And then watch when I go to full screen, 1747 by 1080. It apply. All right, I'm gonna show some rebuilding here on this 1747 resolution. Remember, if this video gets the um, 200 likes, I will show some of the uh, tricks that I use to reduce input lag. Or I, just, I just got on here, so my builds are going to be a little shaky. As you can see, mostly everything here is going like instantly when I edit. A couple bosses. See how fast these edits are confirming. Everything's showing up like instantly when you hit the edit. There's no delay in, in it. Like people talk about when you have stretch resolution. Now for the people that are going to ask me uh, why 1747, why is that the resolution, I'm going to show you a little trick here. It's called the golden ratio. 
So what is the golden ratio? It's a mathematical ratio found in nature, used in design. It uh, creates natural looking compositions that are aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Um, so it's the, the ratio is 1.618. So if you go to calculator and you take 1618 and you times that by the 1080p, you get 1747. So that's why this resolution looks the best and plays the best on Fortnite. Um, if you want to mess around with, say you're someone that plays on 720p, you can take that and use 1618 times by 720, and you can run uh, 1164 or 1165 over 720.